In case wala kayong PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 sa bahay, well, one of the most awaited games sa console na yun ay nilabas na sa Pilipinas, it's the Horizon Forbidden West, and I love to talk about that later. Meron din tayo mga bagong smartphones na introduce um, this week, including the Redmi K50 Gaming and also the Vivo Y21T. And of course, pag-usapan din natin ang latest smartphone na dumating sa Pilipinas, the Galaxy S22 series, and yung bago nilang projector, the Samsung Freestyle. Hey guys, I'm Jam of Jamonline.ph and uh, welcome back to my channel. And today, pag-uusapan natin ang mga latest news sa tech and gaming dito sa Pilipinas. So, gusto ko muna ang pag-usapan is yung Horizon Forbidden West. Horizon Forbidden West is uh, yung kasunod ng Horizon Zero Dawn, which is a pretty good game. It's available on the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and of course, meron sa PC. It's actually kind of affordable dito sa Pilipinas. It's below 1,000 pesos if you're getting it here in the Philippines. See, and now, we have the successor, yung kasunod, which is uh, the Horizon Forbidden West. Tinuloy niya yung story na meron tayo dito sa sa Horizon for uh, Zero Dawn and what I like about the Horizon Forbidden West of course nandiyan na yung bagong story nandiyan na yung mga bagong game modes nandiyan na yung mga improve the gameplay and experience I mean before napaka linear yung skills uh, this time parang meron na tayong additional na mga skills na kailangan ayusin kailangan yung pag-isipan talaga the battle is kind of harder little bit nagtry na ako naglalaro ako nun actually and uh, this time syempre ang talagang na-appreciate ko dito is the graphics of course that's PlayStation 4 uh, and then nag-switch tayo to PlayStation 5. Now that we got a PlayStation 5 na copy nung uh, Horizon Forbidden West, I want to talk about the graphics. First, meron tayo dun dalawang settings. The favor quality and uh, the favor uh, performance. As for me, I want to play it at more than 30 frames per second. So dun ako sa performance. Around 60 frames per second, tumatakbo siya sa 4K TV ko. Pero it's running at I believe 1600 or 1800p, not 4K. But, tingin niyo is napakaganda ng graphics. Unlike before, Horizon for, uh, Zero Dawn, maganda graphics. Forbidden West, it's even better. Pag zinum inyo yung, yung graphics talaga sa muka ni Aloy, makikita nyo talaga yung pores. Napakaganda ng graphics niya. And uh, the battle seems to be uh, better. Mas maganda experience ko actually. And medyo simula pa lang ako. Marami pa akong kailangan i-unlock sa game. But so far, I love the Horizon Forbidden West. I won't spoil that much regarding sa game. But um, the game is actually showing you yung power ng PS5. Dual sense the graphics, the power, and everything na kayang showcase ng PS5 nandun sa Horizon Forbidden West. So, if you got uh, a PS5 or uh, may PlayStation 4 kay sa bahay, it's actually a pretty good game. Available for free before yung Horizon Zero Dawn eh. So, tong Forbidden West, I'm pretty sure, kung meron kayo Zero Dawn, na laro nyo yun, mag-enjoy kayo sa Forbidden West. And I actually like the game. Possible siya na manominate sa Game of the Year. We don't know yet because meron pa Elden Ring and uh, a lot more to come this year. But yeah, Horizon Forbidden West is a great game. And of course, meron tayo dito ang ating next news which is the Redmi K50 Gaming. So, as you all know, Redmi smartphones are uh, pretty affordable. I mean, Redmi K50 pagdating sa pangalan ng Redmi, alam na natin affordable. It's not the most affordable smartphone in the market. So, according dito, uh, it's price at it starts at 3,299 CNY. So, that's around 32,000 pesos. Pero that's China. So, pag dumating yan dito, probably 40,000. Yung gusto ko dito is yung partnership nila with Mercedes AMG F1 Edition. Uh, first of all, hindi ako F1 fan. But I like the design of this one. And of course, sanabi ko nga kanina, it's a gaming smartphone. Meron tayo dito ang Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 na processor up to 12 gigs of RAM. Of course, bigay na natin to, 120 hertz na display on a 6.67 inch OLED display. It's a full HD plus display. And of course, ang problem ko dito first is the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Medyo mainit yung Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, so I don't know how this one will perform. Pero sabi nila meron silang dual vapor chamber, meron din silang dual JBL tuned speaker, so maganda daw yung sounds natin dito. But Yung talaga mabenta sa akin dito, aside doon, is yung kanyang charging, which is 120 watts. I'm looking forward to this, but um, I'm not expecting expecting it to be uh, really good sa all aspects. I mean, for the price, I'm pretty sure, Redmi yan, bigay na yan, maganda talaga yung value na nakukuha nyo pagdating sa performance. Pero sa kanyang camera, hindi ko masabi if same yung masasabi ko doon na maganda rin yung camera niya, but I'm pretty sure, 
na yung Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, kahit na mag-throttle pa yan, maganda yung performance yung ibibigay. Whether you're playing Aether SX2, which is a PlayStation emulator, or Genshin Impact, I'm pretty sure na kayang-kayang patakbuhin ng Redmi K50 Gaming. And of course, wala pa tayong word kung darating ang smartphone na to dito sa Pilipinas. So for the next smartphone is actually the Vivo Y21T. So, uh, T, yeah, that's different. So according dito kay uh, Vivo Philippines, so this one is uh, the affordable gaming smartphone. So this one is priced at 10,999 pesos. You got a 1080p display, 90Hz refresh rate, and of course there's the Snapdragon 680 processor. Actually, hindi ko alam kung paano pa perform ang Snapdragon 680. But I'm uh, guessing that it will be better than the Snapdragon 720. We got 90Hz refresh rate. It's not clear if it's AMOLED, so let's see if it's an AMOLED display. So no, it's not. It's an IPS display, which is kind of disappointing. Because if you got a 90 hertz na refresh rate, tapos IPS lang siya. Hindi mo enjoy 90 hertz refresh rate. Eh. Hindi mo siya magamit on games. And considering Snapdragon 860 lang, uh, 680 lang siya, it's not as powerful as you might think. I mean, if you got Snapdragon 855 or 860, katulad sinabi ko nila, baka mas powerful talaga yun. And we only got here 4 gigs of RAM. You can extend it, plus 1 gigs of 5 gigs. And then there's the 128 gigs of internal storage. Uh, as for the pricing, well, masasabi ko lang na sulit siya if maganda nga ba yung performance na makukuha natin once we have the smartphone. But yeah, Vivo Y21T for 11,000 pesos. Well, masasabi ko... Maraming smartphones na okay, mas okay sa value yata na yan. Uh, we got the Redmi Note 11 series. We have to try it out yet. Our review of the smartphone will come out soon. But uh, Snapdragon 680 for 11,000 pesos, medyo, hmm, mag-iisip-isip pa ako dyan. But, again, this is uh, the smartphone from Vivo na if you want something na affordable, na hindi sa sakit yung budget nyo, hindi sa sakit yung bulsa nyo, this is 11,000 pesos and they consider this yes, gaming smartphone you have only that budget, siguro okay. Pwede nyo isama to sa listahan nyo. So for the next one, it's actually the Samsung Galaxy S22 series. So meron tayong tatlong smartphone doon sa series na yun. We got the Galaxy S22, we got the Galaxy S22 Plus, and of course, we got the Galaxy S22 Ultra. So the smartphone is, uh, well... Ano bang masabi natin? First, meron tayong Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor inside on all those three smartphones. So, it's a big upgrade compared to the Exynos processors that we have uh, for every year na actually. So, actually, parang ang tagal na since ka Snapdragon tayo na Samsung Galaxy S series, the Galaxy Z Fold, the Z Flip, Snapdragon this time, uh, Snapdragon din tayo sa S22. Pero, ang main highlight ko lang talaga sa akin dito is the S22 Ultra. Basically, I got here the S22 Ultra. It's actually a... Uh, Great alternative na if you love the Galaxy Note series. I mean, first we got here the large display. Ayan, kita nyo naman, the large display. And of course, we got here yung fan favorite na S Pen. So if you love uh, productivity, you could go for this one. Actually, like uh, the Galaxy S22 Ultra, not just because of the processor, but also the camera, which is a 108 megapixel main camera. What I can say is that overall, so first impressions ko dito, makikita nyo naman sa YouTube channel ko, Napakaganda nung camera niya. It can actually compete with uh, the likes of iPhone 13. Kasi ako gusto ko talaga yung camera na iPhone 13. If you love selfies, maganda yung skin tone, maganda yung video, gusto ko iPhone 13, maganda yun. Uh, Pro, just to be clear, dun tayo sa Pro. Uh, and this one, this one can really compete. And ang ganda ng stabilization ng video niya. na sa ako dun sa stabilization ng Galaxy S22 Ultra. Minsan, ito na yung ginagamit ko pang shoot sa labas instead of my camera. Maganda siyang alternative pag nagsushoot ako ng B-roll sa labas. And of course, yung talaga nagdala sa akin dito, Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. First, maganda yung ating image processing. Pangalawa, maganda yung performance natin. Wala tayong nagiging problema. I love emulators, so mas prefer ko talaga Snapdragon kasi mas compatible yung mga emulators na gusto ko. And lastly, maganda yung kanyang pag-handle ng battery and thermals compared sa Exynos processors na meron tayo before. So, the Galaxy S22 series is now available, I be oh, actually, this March, pero may mga nakakuha na ng Galaxy S22 dito sa Pilipinas via pre-order. So, this one will retail for 68990T, starting for the S22 Ultra. And of course, you could get the S22 and uh, the S22 Plus for... Uh, starting sa S22 for 45990 and 56990 sa S22 Plus. So, um... 
Actually, okay naman yung S22 and S22 Plus. If you want a portable smartphone na maganda yung performance, S22, maliit siya. Yes, I'm not sure with the battery. Marami nagsasabi sa review ng battery niya, medyo maiksi daw. But the S22 Plus, ito yung nasa gitna. The middle brother. But, ang ganda ng performance siya. Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Okay naman yung camera niya. Not as good as the Ultra. But, it's actually pretty good. Flagship level, definitely. And, uh, it's definitely great. Kung magsushoot lang kayo for Instagram, for TikTok, walang problema. Whether that's a rear camera or the front camera of the smartphone. And, lastly, gusto kong pag-usapan tong bagong nilabas ni uh, Samsung Philippines dito sa Pilipinas. The Samsung Freestyle Smart Projector. Basically, uh, this is a smart projector na bagong-bago sa akin yung kanyang uh, form factor. Okay? Kasi most projectors square, rectangle, nakasabit sa ceiling. Okay. Basically, ganun yung mga projectors na nasa utak natin. This one is actually a circle, a cylinder. Maganda yung mount niya. Uh, pwede nyo siyang Eco 360. Walang problema. I-project nyo siya sa wall. Walang problema. Project nyo siya sa ceiling. Walang problema. Project nyo siya uh, using the bulb socket. Walang problema. Yes. Pwede nyo siya i-mount sa bulb socket so yung projector niya diretso sa table nyo. Maganda siya for presentations habang nasa kitchen kayo or pag nasa office kayo. Uh, gusto ko lang pag-usapan muna. First, yung software niya. Same software that we're getting from the Samsung Smart TVs. Basically, pwede tayong mag-wireless decks. Pwede tayong gumamit ng Netflix, applications, and a lot more. Disney Plus, kung meron kayo. Uh, but of course, wala pang Disney Plus sa Pilipinas. But yeah, basically, it's a smart uh, projector similar to Smart TV. Kaya maganda siya pamali sa Smart TV niyo sa bahay. It can project up to 100 inch na projection. Okay? So, kung malaki bahay nyo, walang problema. And, napakaliit niya. It's very portable. It's light. Pwede siya i-mount sa ceiling if you want. You can place it on the table. Or, again, pwede niya siya lagay sa bulb socket, which is pretty cool. And since 360 siya, I mean, yeah, pwede niya siya i 180. Wala kayong problema kung kahit saan niya siya ilagay. And, it's very minimalistic. And, it's perfect doon sa mga uh, bahay na ayaw na masyadong cluttered. Okay to. Kasi, Gustong gusto ko yung design niya, maganda yung design niya. Pwede niyo palitan yung kulay, it charges using USB-C. You can buy a battery pack if you want it to, po to be portable. Meron nga siyang case na sobrang perfect sa mga nag-hike. So if you want, you can buy the case, buy the battery pack, and use it anywhere. Walang problema if you're gonna use uh, a power bank kasi if your power bank is actually, I believe it's 40 watts or 22 watts. I'm not sure I need to confirm again with uh, Samsung. May certain wattage siya na kailangan, pero kaya niya patakbuhin ito with uh, a power bank, with a certain watts lang. And if you pre-order, kasama na yung power bank na yon. It's an Anchor Power Core 3, I believe, na power bank. And again, sinabi ko kanina, pwede siyang ilagay sa bulb socket. Yes, as bulb. Meron siyang parang diffuser na ilalagay. So, iilaw siya, RGB yung colors. Kasi it's a projector. Pwede siyang gawin as a light bulb. Napakamahal na light bulb sa bahay nyo. But it can also project. So, this one is priced at 50, um, 4999 That's 55,000 pesos. Kind of expensive. But if you pre-register now, you can get it... Uh, uh, 54999 plus some freebies including the case and also the uh, power bank. Tapos, kung nagpre-register kayo, kahit na wala kayong pambili, may chance kayo manalo ng 1 out of 5 Samsung Freestyle uh, na <coughs> smart projectors. Actually, this is pretty cool. If you got a lot of money, if you got some money to spend, sure. Go for the Samsung Freestyle. I actually like it. Gusto ko nga siya bilhin, pero wala akong pera. But, yeah, I'm gonna pre-register to try ko yung ko, malay nyo, manalo ko, or whatever. And yeah, it's a great um, <coughs> alternative sa mga TVs sa bahay, or if you got a large wall, large space, or you want it, you know, sa outdoor nyo, sa terrace nyo, sa garden nyo, pwede to. And uh, sa mga nagtatravel din, na kailangan lagi ng display. Okay to. Ang gusto ko talaga dito is pwede siya project sa ceiling. So, pwede ako manood ng movies or Netflix sa ceiling. Walang problema. So, yeah. I guess that's it dito sa ating uh, this week. Hopefully, magtuloy-tuloy tayo dito sa weekly natin. Na-miss ko to. Uh, I miss doing this. I've been doing this uh, a few years ago pa. Pero ngayon lang ulit. And yeah. If you got any suggestions, uh, comments, leave it down sa comments. Basahin ko yan. Minsan, di lang ako comment pero binabasa ko yan. And um, I want this one to be free-flowing lang. Chill lang, relax, no scripts at all. Basa lang tayo na all. So yeah, guys, that's it dito sa ating uh, video.
<clears throat> this week so if you like this video don't forget to give us thumbs up and of course don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be sure to click that subscribe button along with that bell button to get notified dito sa latest videos natin sa aking YouTube channel so once again I'm jumpjumonline.ph thank you for watching and see you guys again sa susunod na video